the team made this to you? Well, first of all, let me say good morning. And yes, it was a late night last night, and I appreciate you guys who did stay up to watch the game. So I, I appreciate that, because I did the same thing. I had to stay and watch the game. But uh, being, a, being a, a teammate is, you know, for me, someone who, who's always there. And, is, and is teammates and friends are, you can, you can pretty much take the same, the same guy and turn him over, you know, and he can be your teammate if he's a real good friend of yours. Someone who is always there. Someone you can count on when you're out playing the game. You know that they are going to play as hard as they possibly can play every time because nine times out of ten that's what you're going to do you're going to want to win you're going to want to play hard so you want your teammate to do the same thing play as hard as you're playing because it is a team game even though it, you know it's an individual game you got nine individuals out there everybody wants to play as hard as they possibly can to win now if you have a teammate that's not doing that you're really not going to, you know, want to hang out with him, or you know, you really don't even want him on the field with you. But having a good teammate is someone who's going to play just as hard as you possibly can every time. So let's talk a little bit about last night's game. You've seen all different types of games in your career, but team goes up ten nothing in the first <laughs> inning, and I know a lot goes on in that bullpen. But what's going through your mind early in the game, and then as the game changes? How does your attitude change towards that game? Well, you know, at the beginning of the game, we thought it was, you know, 10, we scored 10 runs in the first inning. We're like, wow, this is going to be great. I'm just going to sit back and watch the offense go. And, you know, Charlie Zink, you know, Major League debut, 10 runs, first inning. That's going to be great. You know, he's just going to cruise and just let him pitch the whole game. we got a day off. Five innings later, uh, day's off, not coming so fast. Now I've got to change my attitude. i got to start, you know, what, who's coming up now in the fifth inning, sixth inning. Am I going to pitch in the fifth inning? Because Charlie's starting to get his pitch count up, you know. Am I going to pitch in the seventh inning? You know, now we're going to mix and match because now we're down, you know, we're only up by two or three runs now. Next thing you know, another inning goes by. Now we're down by one. And I go, oh, great, you know. We scored, you know, 12 runs and we're losing a baseball game. So the attitude changes. You got to watch the game the whole time. You never know what's going to happen in a baseball game. You never know when you're going to play. You never know when your coach is going to be, you know, getting you off the bench and say, "Dude, I need you to pinch hit right now. I need you to go play center field. I need you to go catch, whatever." So the game will change quickly. And, and it's, it, I, I got to believe it's tougher in the bullpen because when you're starting, when you're in the lineup, you know you're playing. When you're starting pitching, you know you're pitching. But when you're in the bullpen, you're not. I think. Pavelbon knows the situation is coming for the rest, rest of you guys, especially in a game like that. You got to always be ready, prepared to get yourself ready to pitch. It can happen at any time, at any point in a baseball game that uh, you know Terry can call down and say, you know, get Mike up. You know, it can happen in the fifth, it can happen in the seventh, it can happen in five runs up, it can happen five runs down. You know, so you do. You have to be ready at all times and. I have my certain routine, you know, I stretch in the fifth inning, I play catch in the sixth inning, you know, so mentally I'm already in the game, but, you know, you, you just never know. So we talk, we'll talk a little bit about last year. Last year was a great year for you guys, and we had a chance to talk to you a little over a year ago last year, and you had said at the time, when we had talked about the team, you said, you know what, I like this team, we talked a little bit about how it compared to 2004. And you guys got going, and we talked to Tech yesterday about how you know you decide to let the Indians get a little three-one lead. The, the ALCS came back. Just talk a little bit about that team last year, what that experience was like being your fourth ring, two with the Blue Jays, two with the Sox. Now, just a little bit about that season, what that World Series meant to you, and how they were different. You know, watching uh, watching the team that we had last year, you know, it, was a, it changed a little bit throughout the year, but you know. As all teams do, teams will change. You know, you have injuries, you have guys that have moved up and down, you have guys that have traded. But the team that we have, you know, it's a special team. I mean, just like 2004, just like 2003, you know, you have a, we have a chemistry. Guys we could rely on, you know, from day one. And we got into 2007, obviously, and you, you 
have a better perspective since we've already been down there. You know what's going to happen in the playoffs. So you've already had guys on your team that have gone through the playoffs. And you know what they're going to be able to do in a pressure situation. You know, and that's, that's what the difference between 2007 and 2003. We know what each other was going to do. Even though in 2003 we didn't win, we still had a, a tremendous team that showed a lot of heart, you know, that had changed a lot of Boston baseball as, as people see it. You know, we were more of a team rather than a bunch of individuals out there. And it shows, you know, that's how you play. If you play that way, you know, it's going to come out on the field. And, you know, having the, my fourth world championship in 2008, you know, in uh, 16 years, you know, it's just, you know, decent, decent consistency, you know, and it's, uh, and it's, obviously it's not just me because I'm not pitching every day and I'm not playing every day. It's my teammates that are doing the job day in and day out. We had, a, we had a great team. And i got to believe you can see it. You've been on enough teams, been around enough guys, that you know the chemistry and make of a team that if everybody stays healthy and everything goes well, that you're going to give yourselves a chance to compete. You, you, you begin to, to, to see the flow of the team, you know, earlier in the season if, you, if you've done this, you know, time and time again. You know, if you go to the, the playoffs a lot, you, you see what kind of qualities are in a team if they can make it all the way to, to the end. And, you know, we have that team. Last question for me. I'm going to open up a little bit to, uh, to some of the campers. But well, there's a lot of younger pitchers on this team, starting and in the pen now. Do you take it, with the experience that you have, do you kind of take it upon yourself, not just to talk about the, the physical part of pitching with these young pitchers, but the mental part of the game, which is so huge? And, or is it one of those things you kind of lead by example? What's your, which, how do you lead? How do you talk to well, those guys? I go, I, first of all, I go with the second part. I, I, I try to lead by example. I mean, you know, you want to show people that you can do things, you know, on your own. You want to be able to do the job on your own. You take your past experiences, you take what you know of the baseball game, and you put it into practice. And when people see you doing that every day, then they can follow it. But the physical capabilities of these guys, you know, right now far surpass what, what I, I can do on the field now. I mean, you know, they throw harder, you know, they're younger, they recover, <laughs> they recover better. But, you know, being older and having the more experience, you know, they will come to me mentally and we'll, we'll talk about the game, situation, what you need to do, what you need to think, how you calm yourself down, and and relax and play the game. That's that's a big part of the game right there. If you can relax and play this game and just let your talent come through and don't think too much, just react to the baseball, you're gonna you're gonna do a whole lot better. How about some questions? Got some questions from campers? None? Nobody? Okay, we got a couple here. Right there in the middle. Yep. Out of the four World Series titles, which team did I like the best? Um, it, it's, hard to, it's hard to just individualize one team out of all four of those because I've been to the playoffs many times before. Uh, every team had, you know, a special quality. There was, you know, there was a special, each team was very special to take it all the way to the end. In Toronto, although we didn't, you know, have time in between. What we did was, it was back to back, it was 92 and 93. So a special team is not easy to put together that's able to repeat year in and 